Hello everyone and welcome! It's that time of year again! It's the 2020 Steam Sale. Bet you thought we weren't going to make it to the 2020 Steam Sale. It seems late this year. All seems to happen in uh, early June, but you know, it's happening in late June this year. Uh, you know, so let's take a look at the top five, or just, they're not top five, let's just look at five games for under five pounds that I recommend in the Steam Sale 2020, the Steam Summer Sale, I should point out, of 2020. So at number five, we have Spec Ops The Line. It's a better game than The Last of Us 2. And at number 4, we've decided to go with Resident Evil 4. Uh, there's quite a few Resident Evil games. Uh, you can get 5, 6, uh, I think Resident Evil Remake, Remastered, the, that is the correct name for it. The original that was remade and then remastered uh, again. It was remade, then remastered. There's both a remake and a remaster. Counts. Uh, you can also get Resident Evil Zero Remastered. They're all under £5, but I think of all of those games, Resident Evil 4 is the best of them, really. Uh, yeah, you can get it. It runs quite well uh, on even the most moderate hardware. Uh, it was released a few years ago, but for £3.49. Sorry, £3.74. Uh, in the US, it'll set you back $4.99. I should have pointed out it's Spec Ops The Line is 3 99 in the UK and uh, 5 99 US dollars as well. At number 3 we have Doom 64, which technically is the most modern of games we have on this list, being that it was released this year. Uh, now I, I ended up getting mine free on the sort of Bethesda store with Doom Eternal, but I'm going to buy it again because it's £1.19. Technically it was under £5 when it released, so should it be on this list? Well, yeah, because it's on sale for under £5. £1.19 in the UK, $1.49 in the US in Trump dollars. There is Trump dollars, they do exist. I've got one, I've got a billion dollar bill that I bought with Trump's face on it. See? It's valid. I think it's valid. Anyway, I'm going to try and cash that in uh, at some point. But yeah, Doom 64, a remake of the N64 version of Doom. Well worth picking up these days. Uh, you can also get Doom 2016 for under £5, but I reckon most people have that. I think Doom 64 uh, is a decent buy, and it's a decent addition to your collection. A lot of people might not have tried it because it is so different. Uh, from the regular Doom versions in the 90s, and I think it's pretty good. It's, people say it's a bit more like Quake than Doom. Its art style certainly is reminiscent of Quake, uh, but it plays really well. Again, uh, this is a full uh, PC conversion. It will support modern resolutions and modern graphics APIs as well. I think it does support, it supports Vulkan as well, so you've got that, and it runs fairly flawlessly at 144 FPS, as it should, the game from the 90s, really. Right, moving on to number two, we've got Vanquish, and I never shut up about Vanquish. Again, another Shinji Mikami game on this list. That's two of them. We had Resi 4 on this list. Some would say we're a big fan of Shinji Mikami, but this game is awesome. Uh, it is an awesome third-person shooter. It is quite a fast-paced third-person cover shooter. Uh, you can power slide, you can slow time down. It is a bit of a bullet hell type game as well. Uh, but it is a pretty cool game and a pretty underrated and underappreciated third-person shooter. Under £5 at £3.74 uh, in the UK. Uh, in the US it is $4.99 Trump cents. Uh, you can pick that up uh, for a pretty reasonable price these days. I think Vanquish was an underappreciated game, and it runs quite well on modern PCs as well. Uh, you should be able to get at least 60 FPS out of it, and they have fixed the bug uh, where the projectiles would move faster at the higher frame rates. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty enjoyable, uh, certainly at 60. And at number one, we've got Bayonetta. Look. This list, when it started out, was just going to be Platinum Games games, or either games directed by Shinji Mikami or Hideki Kamiya. That was the li that was the list. I like Kamiya. I like Hideki Kamiya. I like Shinji Mikami. You know, and that's the majority of this list. Uh, you know, but I, you know, 
love Bayonetta. Bayonetta, we were going to put a Devil May Cry game on this, but the Devil May Cry HD collection's not in the sale. So deal with that. So Bayonetta is in the style of Devil May Cry. It's an awesome, it's quite an awesome uh, action game. Uh, certainly in the genre. Um, really is fantastic to play. Uh, runs really well on modern PCs. You can get 4K 60 out of a GTX 970, which is a fairly... Still a mid-range card these days, but yeah, you can easily get quite a you know decent performance out of this game. Uh, it runs flawlessly. The gameplay is excellent. I like the story. I like the characters as well. It's quite it's kind of cheesily written, but I like Bayonetta. She's awesome. She's just a badass, really. Uh, kicks ass and takes names and uh, can turn her hair into all sorts of weird monster thingies and also do the torture attacks you've got to love them torture attacks i should point out as well that you can also get uh bayonetta and vanquish in a bundle again bayonetta is priced the same as vanquish three pounds 74 and 4.99 in the us uh, you can buy them both in a bundle at six pounds and 74 pence or eight dollars and 98 cents so it's up to you we did put them in as two entries because you can buy them separately and they are under five pounds uh, but yeah, there's always some pretty good games to be had in the Steam sale. It's the hardest list to make this. It is so difficult because, you know, you can get so many bargains for under £5 in the Steam sale. But we try to pick different games every year uh, that we do this uh, just to make sure that we can get them. I was going to put 13 on the list, but that is £5 and it's not in the sale Got to follow them rules. I was tempted to put that game on the list. But anyway, let me know what you're going to buy in this year's summer sale. Some games have went up in price, I should say. Uh, like, uh, I've seen a lot of the Star Wars games are going up in price. Knights of the Old Republic, uh, £7.49 each. I and mean, they were like £2.50 a few years ago. What's the deal with them? I don't know. Anyway, so we will leave you to get and get on and enjoy the Steam sale. So thank you for joining me for this video. I will see you again soon and goodbye.